Oh, hey there. I didn't see you guys come in. Tell me, do you have an appetite for art? Let's talk about some food. Pizza. No, that's not real pizza. It's made of clay. Food is a common topic for art. For a perfect example, look no further than artist Klaus Oldenburg. Klaus Oldenburg is an American sculptor and pop artist. Known for his large-scale public art installations and soft sculptures, typically of everyday objects and food. Many of his works were made in collaboration with fellow artist and wife. His art can be seen right here. Just so you know. Most popular in the 1960s, pop art was an art movement that challenged the traditions of fine art by including imagery from popular culture, such as advertising, comic books, and mundane mass-produced cultural objects. Often an ironic or satirical statement on society and culture. Who doesn't love food? Today, we're gonna learn how to make one of these. Inspired by Swedish-born artist Klaus Oldenburg, and his soft sculptures. To create mine, I used some metal wire to make an internal frame and then stuffed it with a bunch of random things, basically. I used some newspaper, some plastic bags, and then I covered the whole thing in some pantyhose. I added some acrylic paint for my color and some small details made out of paper. I made some little eggs to go on top of my ramen, and I made some chopsticks out of rolled up paper. I made a little chunk of meat out of some rolled up paper topped off with a piece of pantyhose. So let's go see how we can make one. I use some sculpture wire for internal structural support. You can use various household objects to help bend it into shape or just manipulate it with your hands. To help round mine out, I used a bowl. After I have my internal structural support constructed out of my wire, I cover it with some fabric and then stuff it with some newspaper and plastic grocery bags. I bend some paper and attach it to the outside for some additional details. And then, once I have all of that done, I cover the entire thing in some gesso. The gesso will act as a good base for me to paint on. Without this, the paint would keep soaking into my fabric. I apply two or three coats until I run out of gesso. This step is easier to do if you do not have your sculpture attached to the wooden base. After my gesso is dry, I can paint my sculpture. It takes several coats of the acrylic paint. I also add a little bit of paint to the base. After that's all done, I glue the two together using a little dab of hot glue. Go ahead and try to make your own soft sculpture inspired by Clay's Oldenburg's work. If you picked up the kit from school, you should have some pantyhose and a wood base. If not, go ahead and use some paper, newspaper, magazines, plastic bags to create yours. While making this, I made the mistake of gluing the wire onto the base before I was done and had to pull it back out. So, word of advice, attach the sculpture to the base when you're done. Now let's see what kind of food you can create. Cake, chicken, sushi. There is no limit when it comes to appetite. I mean creativity.
Check out this other food art. Hairless cat loaf of bread. Banana dolphin. Turtle sandwich. Ice cream cone snail. Made an extra egg that didn't fit on there too.